Today, the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists moves the hands of the doomsday clock. It is 100 seconds to midnight. The doomsday clock is a globally recognized indicator of the vulnerability of our existence. It's a striking metaphor for the precarious state of the world. But most frighteningly, as we have just heard, it's a metaphor backed by rigorous scientific scrutiny. This is no mere analogy. We are now 100 seconds to midnight, and the world needs to wake up. When that two-minute benchmark was first reached, but not passed, in 1953, the sole consideration of the bulletin was the nuclear threat, and the prospect of human-caused climate change was mere academic curiosity. But since that time, greenhouse gas pollution from burning fossil fuels that humankind has dumped into the atmosphere has risen sixfold. Not surprisingly, the Earth has warmed about a degree centigrade. And if we do nothing to curb our greenhouse pollution, the Earth will warm by another few degrees. A few degrees might not sound like anything to worry about, much less like an emergency. But let me put it in perspective. During the depths of the last ice age, the Earth was only a few degrees colder. If the Earth warms by what we tend to think of as just a few degrees, we have no reason to be confident that such a world will remain hospitable to human civilization. What is being said this morning is not being heard. It's being ignored, it's being denied, and it's being belittled. Whatever we've done to date, it is totally inadequate on nuclear, on climate, and on the other dangerous uh, technologies. We have to find a way to do more. This is the moment, if there ever was, to wake up.